this is President Obama. And yes, you have reached my, um, my special red phone in the, in the White House. But right now I'm currently being uh, jumped by Congress and other white people. So just call me when you get, uh, uh, get a chance or I'll call you back. Doesn't look like I'll have a chance because I'm getting my ass jumped. But anyway, uh, I'll get back with you. Who <laughs> 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 do you can do to Obama you do good? It every day, like every time you need to do a message or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Actually, we're gonna go to uh, 23, Mike, Will, and Miley Cyrus. Thoughts on thoughts on her getting like real world. Ooh. Miley Cyrus, she got the big record with Mike Will, made it 23. Did you see? Um, Who she with, with uh, when she's got the Michael Jordan thing? Yeah. Did you see Michael yeah. Jordan's response video? Did you see when him and his kids were watching it? No. What was it? They were like. This is not good. <laughs> and he turned it off. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So what do you think about her in the, the hip-hop career? I mean, do you think she's a good singer? Um, I think she's a good little entertainer. Yeah. I mean, she's 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 not as good as some little black girls I've seen sing. Yeah. You know, she's not really a singer. She's kind of a pop star. Right. You know. She has a song on um, Snoop Lion's Reincarnation, which one of, one of my favorite CDs out right uh, now. I love she, that. Can she sing? And on that uh, Ashtrays and whatever is the last song on the CD, she was singing. Yeah. Like, and she reminded me of Rihanna a little bit. Okay. It's almost, it's almost like she's trying to get in that Rihanna lane. Right, I mean, right. with everything that she's doing. I was thinking maybe maybe you get one. Right, right, right. But uh, She's a white girl. So what does that mean? That means that she's going to get more than one shot. Oh, interesting. Yes, yeah, it's, it's kind of like the black quarterback syndrome. You know, now <laughs> now that we busted into a league and we've shown we can really put up some numbers and stuff like that, but still. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's just nobody want to mention that part. You know what I mean? I mean, nobody wants to mention that. There's plenty of little black girls out there that will kick her in the ass. Right. That she can't even touch. Right. Talent, dancing, nothing. But, you know, when it comes to white artists, it's, it's, it's race and dash money because more whites buy records and that stuff the blacks do. So it's just like numbers. Mm -hmm. It's just like, I don't think it's really racist that Jim Carrey is like one of the top box office hit, uh, 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 box office draws in the country. Yeah. It's just that mathematically, there's more whites and they're going to go, they're going to go to what they like. Well, actually, working with him in um, Ace Ventura, like, how is Jim Carrey? He's, he's the best. Oh my God. Is he so, so much like, is he a good guy? Is he like a friend of yours? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's great. He's yeah. Great. I've known him for a while, yeah. I drop him, name drop him. Yeah, yeah. That's my man right there. Well, well, name drop my name next time. I Tell heard that. Jazzy T said what up. Nice, <laughs> nice. Okay, so, um, of course, we want to talk about, you know, In Living Color a little bit, just because it's such a classic, and you've kind of revived it a little bit with mm -hmm, Chocolate Sunday. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, oh, what... you saw that, huh? Yeah. It's pretty cool, right? I love it. So, it's like a little bit of, the, like, the set sketch comedy, and then you, of course, have the stand-up in there yeah, as well. Yeah, So, uh, are we looking for season three? What's up with that? You know what? I would like that. I would like that. We're working on it, but we'll see. Okay. We'll see. It, 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 is, it, it isn't a go. It isn't a green light. That thing is available on DVD, so if you want to see it... Go to chocolate, uh, what, chocolatesunday.com okay. and just pick you up one. But it, it's not scheduled. Okay. I'd like to see that yeah, because uh, it's so daggone good. Yeah. So, you know, if it happens, it happens. But right there, you got something really good. So what is, like, one of your favorite sketches that you've done? Probably Michael Jackson, Black and White. Okay. When I did that on In Living Color. I, you know what? I don't think I saw that you one. You didn't see that one? I'm going to have to Google it Yeah, everybody, everybody YouTube that. <laughs> yeah. Michael Jackson, Black and White, In Living Color. You can't miss so that. Some idiot is calling me and my phone is off. And my phone is on. It's going to be one of your best friends. You know how that goes. I know how that goes. You want in? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Tommy Davis, is he really in there right yeah. now? Yes, he is. But no, you cannot come up here. Okay, let me silence this. And what, what inspired you to get into comedy? Actually, a friend of mine asked me to try comedy. I wasn't okay. even thinking about it. I was, well, I was working at a, a Ramada Inn cooking, uh, an assistant chef for this cook, and um, he see? thought I was funny. He was like, you better, you better stop wasting your career and come do some comedy. Really? So I came down there, and I just grabbed the mic, and from from that point to this point, okay, it like happened like that. Dang. Really. That's a blessing. It is a and blessing. So how many years? Uh, 30, going on 30. Wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah going on 30. Congratulations. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I turned 50 in New November. So, I don't believe it. So I've been in this thing for... No, I don't believe, you believe it. 29 years. I don't believe that. Yeah, for 29 years. Wow, yeah. that's yeah. awesome. So you mentioned you started off as an assistant cook, and then uh -huh. you're doing your comedy thing, uh -huh. and you have a great voice. Thank you. I'm working on that, too. We're going to get there. Spill the beans. Spill the beans. Um, well, I'm, I'm working with some, some artists and stuff, just getting my music together. It's not something that's on my... My front burner, but we're gonna come with it when the time is right, you know. And um, I got some, I got some things coming. Now these will these be like love songs or parodies? You know what? I, I think my album, 
you know, the way I would like to do my album is kind of like how Quincy Jones does his albums. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just collaboration with people, sketches. Yeah. Okay. Whatever's nice. Okay. Whatever's nice. If 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 I if if I'm fortunate enough to work with Drake and and all these all these guys who's really doing sexy stuff or yeah or even Dion Warwick or Fifth Dimension or whoever, as long as it's something that feel good and people like, I'll do it. Earth, Wind, and Fire. They dropped a CD recently. Have you heard it? I haven't heard it. Oh, I just seen them. Wow. I just seen them. Yeah. Well, they're, yeah. They have a song called uh, "Meet Me on the Dance." It's, it's called Dance Floor. It's just straight called Dance uh-huh. Floor. You can put it in the club right now and be really? jamming. Jam it. So shout out to Earth, Wind, and Fire. Oh yeah, what's up, EWF, my man Philip? Come on, what's up? I would love to see Those you do a collaboration right with them. Yeah, I forgot. I guess they're next. <laughs> That's yeah, where. Yeah, like, ah. And you know when you're creating stuff, you know you know how it is. I know exactly how it is. Yeah. So Black Dynamite two. Black next, Dynamite yeah, two. Black Dynamite two next year. We're, we're, we're working nice. on that. So, but currently the cartoon is now running. Yeah. And it's like the highest rated uh, on, on Adult Swim. On Adult Swim, yes. Nice. Everybody loves it. Yeah, the new Boondocks is yeah, what yeah, I've heard. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much. Yeah. Same people made it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. really? Okay, yeah, yeah. so you collaborated same, with same them. Same people made it, yeah. Nice. Good stuff. And of course, you play uh, Cream Corn. Cream Corn, baby. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll see. Oh, actually, you know what? I heard that you do a mean Rocky impression. Rocky is my number one favorite movie ever. In really? Life. Yeah, it's Rocky Four, to be specific. The, the later one? Okay, okay. Rocky IV with uh, the Russian. Yeah, with, with Drago. Yes, Drago. Yeah, I must yeah. break you. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, and uh, Anna Nicole, that's where she got famous off. Like, well, right? yeah, exactly. Right. So, you know, um, Arnold and Sly, they have a movie coming out together. So, who's who's your favorite actor out of the two? Uh, probably Stallone. And why is that? Yeah. I don't know. It's just, yeah, I, I'm like you. I've just been a Rocky fan from the very beginning. Yeah. You know? I don't know. It's just the way that, you know... I, I think mostly it's the way he talks, you know what I mean? Um, like, you know, for instance, like, when we, we did The Expendables, all right, and uh, a guy, Terry Crews, came along, Bruce Willis, all of us got together, we're all big action stars within ourselves, you know what I mean? But what I, the, the thing I appreciate the most about the whole thing was I was able to be hip throughout the movie. I mean, Rocky, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, or Rambo, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, you, you know, all these movies. You know, you never see me wear very hip and, and fashionable clothes, but in, in the Expendables, in the both movies so far, I've been in a, a pair of true religion jeans all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy Davidson <laughs> is the <laughs> size alone right there. I love that. Absolutely. Love the kind with the, you know, the kind with the pockets on the button and it got the pockets with the button. What about the, the little bling, too? You got the yeah, little... I got the little bling on it, but most of all, you know, the, the back pockets are the big ones with the with the whole flap and the money. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, the, the same kind of bag that you'll see on top of a military shovel. It's the same kind of setup. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had a chance to, to hang out with him? Have you had a chance to hang out with him? I've never seen him before, man. Really? I've never met him. You know, I go to every planet in Hollywood I can just in case he, like, pops up. Right, right, right. <laughs> just to see. This is a guy who ain't got no problem with no money. He's always working, ain't he, boy? Yeah, I love wow, it. I love him, man. I love it. What are you listening to right now? Uh, let me see. I like Drake's new album. I think Drake got a badass new album. Man. Yeah. And I've been been checking that out. I have been no, checking um, that out, yes. I listen, to, I listen to a lot of fusion, though. I listen to, like, you know, I listen to um, Greg Karukas and Pat Metheny. Okay. And, and old school. I, you know, I listen to, you know, Blue Magic and Phyllis Hyman. And, nice. You know, I go hard. I go, I go hard. You hear me? Have you ever met the president? Never met him. Really? Never met him. Now, why, why not? It just, it just hasn't come to pass. You I guess. I guess you didn't like right. walk up to his house and just knock on the door and say, "What's up? Yeah, it's see, Tommy." Yeah, let me see somebody do that one. Let me find yeah. out. Some people been trying that one. <laughs> right, and that, right, that's right, what right. the lady was doing. No, do you believe that he had a love child with this this chick? Did you hear that? They said that the lady at the Capitol, like the kid in the back, was her uh, Obama's baby. And nah, man, you know they're gonna. I don't believe that. Yeah, they come up with something. Like yeah, they that. just come it up. Could be you. We don't really know, but you until it's proven, right? Like, I don't Springer, think so. right? Yeah, I, I guess right. not. I guess not. All right, so we're looking for a new album mm-hmm. now. Um, do you, any any uh, ideas on the first single? Are you gonna do like a single, or is it just gonna be something to just uh, put online? No, no, I don't know how I'm going to do it. All I want to do is make some good music, and then we'll let, you know, we'll let the rest be the rest. Okay. Yeah, so it's going to define itself. I'm hoping, I'm hoping I'll have a single by the fourth quarter. Okay. But see, it's, it's hard, because I don't know how to get it played. I don't know how the music industry works now. Right. So I may just go straight to DJs and say, can you play this once just for Christmas? That's pretty, that's pretty much how that happens. Yeah, just see how people like it, you know what I mean? Okay, we're going to, um... 
I got like 10 seconds. Do you want to say something to the people? Um, yeah, the people flash. station at the 47 WBLK Jazzy T in the afternoon on a Mesa weekend. But right now I have in the studio with me veteran comedian and actor and a singer and yeah, everything else. Bo, bo, bo. It's Jamaican too. All right. You know what Tommy Davidson is in the studio, everybody. Yeah, baby. Big shout out to Toronto too, man. <laughs> so you're in town, of course. We have the um, Helium Comedy Club, and you will be. Actually, you were there last night. I was there last night. I'll be there tonight, eight and ten. Tomorrow, eight and ten. Here a limited time. Never here that often. You know you got to come out, and that's for real. And if you've been checking out Chocolate Sundays, this is Chocolate Friday and Saturday happening right, right here in the Queen right. City. It's about that time. It's about that time. Are we? We will be back with more Tommy Davidson. Plus, I got your request for Rich Homie Quan type away and French Montana. It's all coming up next on the People Station, ninety three point seven WBLK. You know, Rick James was on this bitch. Yeah. yeah. That was my man right there. Tell us, a, tell us a Rick James story. Um. Just every time he see me, man, Rick James be like, hey, man, he, you know, he know I like music. Mm -hmm. So he comes to me, man, he may do that, do that. Do call me up, man, you know, because I do this music, you know. Yeah, do the beginning, call me up. I said, do, 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 Burp. I said, do, 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 Rock me. Roll on me, baby. I don't like no pain. And he just be laughing. He, he love, he love me. He, he, I love he it. He loved me. He said, do a, do a, uh, 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 do you and I do it. Uh, spitty man, eh, cause I ain't too good to be a big man, eh, nigga, me, I don't look at the big man, eh, eh, cause you're a big man, eh, you're a die, eh, cheese, be drunk, do never like a blow on your hand, that's right. <laughs> no, he, he love it, my shit, man. Hey, we used to, we used to get down, that motherfucker's crazy as <laughs> Wow, I love it. Yeah, yeah. he was one of the best. The L7 Square, you know, you talk about Buffalo, right? Yeah, is he really? Yes, it's like that's, that's in the hood, that's what they call it, the L7 Square. Really? Yeah. So, yeah. Hey, this is Tommy Davis here. You're rocking with Jazzy T in the afternoons on the People Station 93.7 WBLK with me, TD. For sure.